Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the independent and dependent sources. Before going to the what is independent source and what is dependent source, let's see what are the elements we are having. What are the different types of sources? So electrical energy sources are of two types. First one is independent source and the second one is dependent source. Again, independent sources are classified into two types, independent voltage source and the independent current source. And if you see the independent voltage source, so these voltage sources are of two types, ideal voltage source and practical voltage source. Next, the current sources are also classified into two types, ideal current source and, and the practical current source. If you see the dependent sources, there are four types of dependent sources. Voltage dependent voltage source and the current dependent voltage source and the voltage dependent current source. Next one is a current dependent current source. These are the different types of sources we are having. So in the today's session, we will discuss what is independent voltage source and independent current source and about the dependent sources. These ideal and practical sources we will discuss in the next class. In the next video, I will upload about this ideal, uh, what is ideal source, ideal voltage source and the practical voltage source and what is ideal current source and practical current source that I will upload in the next video. Okay, so let's say in the today's session, we will discuss about the what is independent source and what is dependent source. Okay, let's move into the topic. So first we will discuss about the <coughs> independent voltage source. Okay, first of all, it is a voltage source. The name itself, it is, uh, we can say that uh, independent voltage source supplies a constant voltage and that does not depend on any other quantity like voltage and current within the circuit. It does not depend on any other quantity like voltage and current. That's why it is called an independent voltage source. It does not depend on any other quantity. Okay. So first we will see the examples of voltage, independent voltage source. Okay. So if you see the examples, this is a voltage source, independent voltage source. Okay, so it is having inside the circle that is the plus and minus. That's why we can say that it is a voltage source. And if you see the one more example, this is a battery also voltage source, independent voltage source. Okay, next if you see the one more example that is called as generator. This is a generator symbol. Okay, these three quantities, uh, sorry, these three sources does not depend on any other quantities like voltage and current. Okay. That's why it is called as independent voltage sources. These are all the independent voltage sources. Okay, let's see what is independent current source. So independent current source. Independent current source supplies a constant current and that does not depend on any other quantity like voltage and current within the circuit. This current source does not depend on any other quantity. Okay, it, it, it does not depend on voltage and current. That's why it is called as independent. It does not depend on any other quantity. That's why it is independent current source. If you see the examples of independent current sources, this is a simple current source symbol. Okay, this is an independent source. This is the one of the example. And if you see the one more example, that is a generator. Okay, these two are the examples of independent current sources. Independent voltage source and independent current so these two sources does not depend on any other quantities okay that's why it is called as independent sources so this is about the independent sources these independent sources we use normally in the electrical circuits okay <clears throat> next we'll see what is dependent source okay dependent sources so this in the name itself we can say that it, it depends on some other quantity Dependent sources is a voltage source or the current source whose value of source depends on the voltage or current in the circuits. This dependent source, maybe it is a voltage or current. It, it is a voltage source or current source. These sources depends on the either voltage or current. That's why it is called as dependent source. So if you see the types of dependent sources, there are four types. In that first one is voltage dependent voltage source. Next, current dependent voltage source and the next one is voltage dependent current source and the last one is current dependent current source. These are the four types of dependent sources are there. 
now let's see one by one about the dependent sources okay so these dependent sources we use in the amplifier circuits okay uh, first one is a voltage dependent voltage source if you see the what is voltage dependent voltage source it produces a voltage as a function of voltage in the given circuit this is called as voltage dependent voltage source this first of all it is a voltage source this voltage source is a function of voltage that's why voltage dependent voltage source if you see the symbol of the dependent source this symbol this symbol of the dependent source we will uh, the we will draw in the rhombus if we take the independent sources that is in the circle this rhombus in the rhombus symbol we will indicate the dependent sources okay this is the symbol of the independent source this dependent source is it is in the shape of rhombus uh, what is the name of this voltage source first of all it is the voltage source inside the circle there is a plus and minus that's why we can say that first of all it is a voltage source it is depending on the which quantity it is depending on the voltage that's that's why it is called as voltage dependent voltage source this a is a constant here this voltage source is depending on the v is a voltage that's why it is called as voltage dependent voltage source if we see the total diagram okay this is the voltage source first of all it is a voltage source okay and this voltage source is depending on this voltage vcd terminals okay vcd is a voltage terminals voltage across this vcd okay and this is the v this is the voltage source vab is the voltage source this voltage source depends on the vcd okay that's why it is called as voltage dependent voltage source these vab terminals are depends on the vcd VAB is a voltage across these two terminals, voltage source terminals. Okay, now in the above figure, we can say that the voltage across the source terminal VAB is depends on the voltage across the terminal VCD. This VAB terminals across the source depends on the VCD. That's why we can say that voltage dependent voltage source. Okay, so before uh reading the uh type of the source first see the symbol here whether it is voltage source or current source inside this number there is a plus sign minus so we can say that it is a voltage source this voltage source is depending on this voltage that's why it is called as voltage dependent voltage source here this vab is directly proportional to vcd VAB is the source terminals and VCD is these terminals. Okay, this VAB depends on the VCD. Okay, so if we, if we remove the proportionality, we will get VAB is equal to A into VCD. Here A is a constant. Voltage source, this VAB terminal depends on the VCD. That's why it is called as voltage dependent voltage source this is about the voltage dependent voltage source these sources dependent sources we use in the amplifier circuits okay ne okay let's see in the <coughs> next source is current dependent voltage source if you see the current dependent voltage source definition it produces a voltage as a function of current in the given circuit this is called as De uh, current dependent voltage source okay if you see the headings current dependent voltage source first of all it is a voltage source Vol this voltage source is depending on the which quantity current if you see the symbol this is a voltage source it is depending on the current that's why it is called as current dependent voltage source if you see the diagram of the current dependent voltage source First of all, it is a voltage source. That's why I draw the voltage source symbol. In, inside the rhombus, it is a plus sign minus. It is depending on the which quantity current. That's why it is a current here. Okay, this voltage source VAB, this is this VAB is depends on the branch current that is ICD. 
current dependent voltage source. The voltage across this voltage source is VAB. Okay, voltage across this voltage source is VAB. This VAB depends on the current ICD. That's why it is called as current dependent voltage source. In the above figure, the voltage across the source terminal VAB depends on the current of the branch ICD. This VAB depends on the ICD. That's why it is called as current dependent voltage source. VAB is directly proportional to ICD. If you remove the proportionality, we, we will get VAB is equal to A into ICD. Here A is a constant. Next, if you see the one more source, that is voltage dependent current source. Okay. If you see the headline, this is the current source first. First of all, it is a current source. This current source is depending on the which quantity voltage. That's why it is called as voltage dependent current source. It produces a current as a function of voltage in the given circuit. That's why it is called as voltage dependent current source. If you see the symbol, it is a first of all, it is a current source. This current source is depending on the this voltage. That's why it is called as voltage dependent current source. Yeah, A is a constant term. If you see the diagram, this is first of all, it is a current source. This current source IAB is the current passing through this terminal. Okay. It, this IAB is depends on the VCD terminals. Okay, that's why it is called as voltage dependent current source. If you see the about the in the above diagram, the current of the source IAB depends on the voltage across the terminals VCD as shown in the figure. Okay, here IAB is the current passing through this source. Okay, the current of the source IAB is depends on the VCD terminals. If we remove the proportionality, we will get IAB is equal to A into VCD. Here A is called as constant. This IAB depends on the VCD. Okay, this is about the voltage dependent current source. If you see the one more source that is called as last one current dependent current source. It produces a current as a function of current in the given circuit. That's why it is called as current dependent current source. Current sources depend on the current only. Okay, if you see the symbol, this is a symbol. It is a first of all, it is a current source. It is depending on the which quantity current. That's why it is called as current dependent current source. If you see the total diagram, it is a first of all, it is a current source. Okay, it is a IAB is a current passing through the source. It is depending on the ICD. Okay, ICD is the branch current. Okay, this IAB is depends on the ICD. That's why it is called as current dependent current source. Okay, IAB is directly proportional to ICD. If you remove the proportionality, IAB is equal to A into ICD. Here, what is A? A is called as constant. Okay, these are about the dependent sources. There are four dependent sources are there. Okay, these independent sources we use in the amplifier circuits. In the next class, we will see what is ideal sources and the what is practical source of voltage as well as the current. Okay, this is about the today's class. In the next class, we will discuss about the ideal and practical sources. Okay. Thank you, everyone.